I'm Brad. Welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. What's that? I'm sorry? That? Yeah, that. Well, that, that was, that is, well, it's a rocking chair. Let me tell you a story. Josh got home from work one day. Emily said, honey, the girls were playing in the playroom today and they broke my rocking chair. One of the girls climbed into the rocking chair. They're just playing, being kids, like you do. The rocking chair breaks. So Emily says, Josh, can you fix this? He says, well, we could just throw it away. Maybe get a new one. I don't really feel comfortable fixing this. Emily proceeds to tell Josh, I don't think you understand. We need to fix this. When my mother was pregnant with me, this is Emily talking. This is not Brad talking. When my mother was pregnant with me, she had a relative of hers make this for me. So when I was born, when I was growing up, I would have this beautiful rocking chair. Fast forward. 30 <clears throat> years. Here we are. So Emily says, hey, do you know anyone that could fix this? Josh says, well, but there's a guy at work that has a YouTube channel that works on wood stuff. He's kind of an idiot, but I can talk to him. You know, now that I think about that, I don't know that this was such a compliment after all. Anyway, so Josh reaches out to me and says, Hey Brad, I was wondering if you'd want to fix this rocking chair for it. Now first off, I want to say thank you to Josh and Emily for asking me to fix this. Secondly, I'd like to give a shout out to Emily and what she does. She is a fashion slash lifestyle blogger. Emily, if I got that wrong, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure that's what she classifies herself as. Now, she started doing this when she was pregnant with their oldest daughter. Just to kind of update people on the pregnancy. And it progressed from there and it turned into fashion, lifestyle. They do reviews at restaurants. The name of Emily's blog is With Style and Grace. Ladies out there, make sure and go check out her blog as well as her Instagram, which I'll put a link for in the description below the video. Here at DIY Wouldn't You, we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind you that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. Now let's go ahead and fix this rocking chair. A big thing for me doing DIY projects is to simplify things as much as I can and to not overthink, to not do more than I have to. And so I'm gonna take that approach with this rocking chair. Now, this is a fairly clean break, as you can see, and this is pine. So how I'm gonna approach this is, I'm gonna be using premium wood glue across the joint of this, but if you do just that, there's still a potential that this could break. So I'm gonna be adding a couple dowel rods. I don't wanna to have to work on the finish of this. If they would like to refinish this, that's one thing, but I don't know that that's the case. So I'm going to be taping off both the edge of this piece and the edge of the rocking chair itself. I'm going to be drilling holes for the dowel rods and then gluing the holes as well as the seam here where the boards meet. On my drill bit, I went ahead and taped one inch deep here. That way, I don't over drill when I'm putting my dowel rods in, they don't go too far. I don't have a punch, but I'm going to take a screw and use the sharp point and poke right in the center of my marks here to make sure that that drill bit goes in where it's supposed to. I'm out in my shed, so I went ahead and got myself ready so I wouldn't have to run back to the house and then come back. So I brought with me a wet paper towel as well as a dry paper towel. I know that I have tape on this, however, when I put the glue in the dowel holes and then when I put the glue on this surface here to bond it back together, there's a chance that when I squeeze it tight that glue is going to squirt out. So the wet paper towel is going to come in handy for that. Go ahead and put some glue in the holes on the rocking chair itself. Put my dowels in and give them a little bit of a twist. Put some glue down in those dowel holes and then I'm gonna run some glue along the surface that we're bonding back together.
I'm going to be using something called a bar clamp to clamp this piece on. I've noticed that this clamp is trying to roll this piece upward. So luckily I have a couple other bar clamps and I'm going to add them across from this piece to this piece to hold this in place. I'm going to let this thing sit for a couple hours and dry and then we'll come back and check on it. It should be solid. This has been sitting here for the rest of the afternoon and now it's night. So I'm going to go ahead and take these clamps off, take the tape off, and we'll look at how it ended up. And that should hold great. I just want to remind you again, in doing DIY projects, in doing repairs, don't overthink it. Don't psych yourself out and think just because it's something like this that maybe you've never done before, something you don't have any experience with, doesn't mean you can't do it. I'd like to say thanks again to Josh for reaching out to me to do this repair, and Emily from With Style and Grace. If you haven't already, go check out her blog, go check out her Instagram. Emily and the girls, I hope you're happy with this and I hope that it lasts for a long time. If this video was helpful at all, stylishly give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun projects that we're working on, gracefully subscribe to the channel. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Josh, don't sit in the chair again. <laughs>